Through photos, we get a glimpse of Saina Ghulami's life in Afghanistan before the Taliban takeover. A 21-year-old college student who dreams of being an architect. Like many Afghanistans, her life changed forever when the Taliban took over her home country. The Taliban considered Saina a civil activist. The U.S. Embassy gave her permission to leave Afghanistan and unfortunately, her mom and brothers behind. How is your family doing? They are, I can say, they are healthy. And they are, my mom is happy because I'm safe and I'm here. Saina now lives with a host family in Metro Detroit. Sarah Martin Fanon and her family open their doors and their hearts to Saina, who is enjoying simple life pleasures most Americans take for granted. How have you enjoyed just riding your bicycle? I enjoy riding bicycle because uh, when I was in Afghanistan, it, we didn't have this facility for the guests. I think for us it means that we're taking some meaningful action to solve a problem that we know is out there. Through the help of a host family and the nonprofit Samaritas, Saina gets a chance to start over. Samaritas has helped 160 Afghan refugees. In total, 525 will receive aid by February. There is still a need there, and, and what does it mean to be able to provide that need? Oh, it's, it's an honor and privilege to be able to serve people that are fleeing their homeland out of fear for their lives. Kelly Dobner is the chief advancement officer for Samaritas. She says local churches, businesses, and families have played a tremendous role in helping refugees with a place to live and work. For Saina Galami, she is taking classes at a community college. She hopes to reunite with her sister and her sister's family who were at a camp in New Jersey. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.